Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's see what's going on in your life, your world at this time, and we're going to look and see what actions are coming through for you, what your feelings are, obstacles, dreams, and the outcome. So we have some gifts coming in here. All right, you might be getting a message about this. We have 17 breaks down to eight, and we have seven for those who are numerology people that want to find out what your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are trying to tell you through signs and synchronicities of some sort. Maybe you're seeing certain numbers, but these numbers you can plug in off this reading and find out what these numbers mean. So put into Google angel number meanings and put in the numbers from this reading and you will find out what messages are being conveyed by your angels ancestors and spirit guides they want you to know we have number nine we have change coming through here maybe somebody's moving out maybe you're getting um a message about this this might be a gift to you in a way of perhaps this is somebody you are friends with maybe this is a good thing maybe this is a bad thing let's just see it seems like it's a gift so it might be somebody's moving out of a house here we have the number 20 breaks down to two hmm, somebody might be expecting this to happen maybe even has mentioned this prior to this happening maybe some type of profit here or gifts that are coming through Oh, okay. We have number nine again with 18 breaks down to nine. Two and eight is 10 with uh, breaking down to one. So this may be a new beginning coming through. Maybe this, there's maybe there is a child involved at in this, or this is somebody that may be immature or younger than you are. All right, Aries, let's see. Yeah, there's an ending coming to something here with the 19 breaks down to 10, which breaks down to closing that door and closing out that cycle for a new one to begin. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, there might be some concern about this. Okay. Maybe uh, a parent or somebody that is expecting this to happen is concerned. Let's see what actions are being taken do with this. And 33 breaks down to six. Um, I didn't think they brought they were broken down, but I, when I looked at my chart, I'm my life path, or no, maybe it was my birth date path or something like that was 33, and they had six with it. So I'm assuming that they've added those two together, and so they've broken them down to equal six. So I guess you can. I don't know. I didn't feel that was, I was under the impression that that didn't happen, but apparently it does. So we have right relaxation going forward here. So you may be thinking about maybe you're doing too much or something's going on in your life or you're a little stressed, needing to relax, or maybe you're going on a trip somewhere to relax or just hoping to get on the right path so you can relax a bit here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there's that abundance coming through. So looks like you're going forward and you're going to be able to relax. Maybe you're going to have a little bit of extra money in your um, wallet. Let's see here. Oh, maybe some purity issues going on. Maybe needing to... Uh, purify your energy or it could be just that you have a pure heart pure heart and soul we have diligence you've been pretty diligent about certain things coming forward here keeping on track doing what you're meant to be doing maybe you are in some type of service to spirit and you've been diligent about that purifying your energy doing what you're meant to be doing here and you may be rewarded with this abundance being able to relax enlightenment so you might be finding out about something here being um i feel like this is being it's almost like um awakening to things that you maybe didn't notice before 
And you may be looking at things a little differently here, taking action towards something here. Let's just see what we have for feelings regarding this whole situation here. Maybe it's parents that are getting divorced or moving out or let's just see. All right. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. Maybe this is somebody that is from the past that you want to get back together with. Maybe something's ending with somebody else. So that may be a chance at that, Aries. Let's see. You're going to look deep within your emotions. Maybe you have mixed feelings about this. Maybe you're completely sure. Let's see. Oh, this may be from past lives. Now, this could also still be, um, I'm getting, um, it could be a soul connection, but it also could be um, where you're meant to learn things and walk away from this person. So this may be something that comes in every lifetime. <laughs> well, you're about to be surprised. So I'm feeling like it's not really so much on the, the bad part. Hmm. There is a little bit of guilt going on here. So it may be from the past. It could be from a past life. Some guilt here. Now, I feel like if this is something from this lifetime, I feel like maybe it happens every lifetime. But did they do the right thing this lifetime? Hmm. Sometimes it's best just to let it go the guilty feelings and uh, be able to move forward, have things work out in divine timing. So let's just see. Ooh, there is a connection coming in. So it is eternal and unbreakable. So this may be somebody from a past life that you feel like you're connected to. Maybe this is somebody new, but you feel like you've known them your whole life. And you don't know how you, why you feel like that, but it may be because of a past life connection. I'm also getting that um, if it is from this lifetime, you may reconnect with this person. There may be something that happened between the two of you and somebody needed to learn. Maybe you both did. Yeah, there's some major feelings going on that are being experienced here. So what's on the bottom of the deck? Uh, there are challenges that are going to be with this. It's like any relationship, there's always going to be some challenges that come in. It's how you deal with those challenges that count. Let's see what obstacles may be getting in the way here. All right. You may be doing that inner work, that inner child. The 17 or sorry, 16 breaks down to seven. So doing that, um, I'm getting uh, maybe the dark night of the soul or healings past baggage, <clears throat> emotional loss or disappointments, just that kind of sadness of dealing with something that maybe you weren't ready to let go of or you didn't want to really let go of, but maybe you had to have that self-respect for self and know your worth. That may have been why this needed to happen this way. Maybe somebody needed to learn to lesson to know your worth and to realize that worth. Maybe they didn't see that worth. Uh, there may be a temptation to go back to this person. Now, we have 19 breaks down to 10. That breaks down to 1. This could be a new beginning, and we might be tempted to do this, but let's just see what other things are coming through. You may need to just let go of all of your expectations or your um, thoughts on this and just let whatever's going to happen, happen and just let go of all of it. And whatever comes in, comes in for you. And if it ends up being this person, yeah, you, you may be already have healed from this. You are still actively healing with the inner child here and the healing but I feel like this may be, um, with this inner child, this healing may have been from when you were a youth or a child. So there may be some uh, things going on there that you're needing to heal. But one really important thing is, is to realize that you're not that child anymore. Okay. And what's happened to you in your youth or your childhood um, you've grown up since then, okay? And you made it through up to now and you, you're going to be okay. So it's it's about being able to change the things in your life 
and understand that you have that free will to make your own decisions. Okay, yeah, this may have been holding you back for a very long time. This is 34 breaks down to seven. So you may be looking back on all these things, feeling all those feelings and needing to do this in order to heal and let these things go. Okay, so and it's so important to be able to uh, do this. There's growth here to help you move forward on all the lessons that are needed to be learned. Now, whether you've learned them early on in life, uh, middle of your life, or at the end of your life, um, it's still learning that needs to be learned for you to move forward into the next part of your learning um, energy. So let's look loud. So you may be looking. <laughs> we have 15 that breaks down to 6 which is kind of balancing that stuff back through, right? Um, maybe this is a wild love that you're very passionate about. Maybe your person's really passionate about you. What is this? Okay, so you're going to be able to uh, alchemize whatever energy you want. You can um, mold it into a, a better aspect of things. So taking something that may be a darker energy and transmuting it into love and light and having that coming out of the darkness and into the light makes a difference. Um, it's really pulling you out of that kind of, I'm almost getting depressive state of maybe of all the things that maybe have happened to you that you've been holding on to and leaving that baggage behind you and that disappointment behind you. Maybe it's been chronic disappointments throughout your life. Maybe you have really high expectations of people. Uh, <laughs> let's just see what your dreams are telling you. Aries, let's see. All right, we have nature. So maybe needing to get out into nature a bit more. Um, this is kind of being around a lot of water might be very therapeutic for you. You may ha uh, feel that relaxation and peace and uh, needing to get back into that. This may change how you're feeling at this time um, with the number 14 breaks down to five. Let's see what else we have coming through for you. We're Aries. Okay, it's time to move forward. This may be something your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are trying to tell you in your dreams. They have the shoes with the wings. This is kind of get moving it kind of thing and take action um, and maybe take that time to relax. Maybe take that time to go down to the water, um, to be around water or um, move into nature a bit more where you're have more time for you and your thought process. You're not being pulled in all these different directions. Let's see what else we have here. We have food. Okay. So maybe um, taking notice of what you're putting into your vessel with the number nine here. This is kind of nearing that cycle to fulfillment, um, almost getting to that point of attaining what you are trying to accomplish. Um, spirit might be wanting you to look at how you view food or how you are, um, what types of food you might be putting in to your body and um this may be something that needs to change or they're getting you to be aware of this okay and we have number 16 that breaks down to seven you do he here so you might be on a spiritual um awakening here where you may be looking at things a little more logically or rationally and reflecting on those things. I feel like this is to help you move forward or move ahead on things towards maybe some rewards that you're meant to have here with this abundance. Okay, we have shouting in reverse. 35 breaks down to 8. So I feel like this is kind of... Um, not getting upset about things. Uh, I feel like maybe you've changed. You're looking at relaxation, right? So I feel like you're not 
getting upset about things too much like maybe you did before. And this may be because you're looking at things with your cup half full and not half empty. So there isn't any more shouting matches. And I feel like this may be that you are kind of being selective in what you put your energy into. Oh, okay. We got something on the fence here. Oh, we might have more than something. Okay. So we have roots wanting to put down roots and we have two and then 20 breaks down to two with bugs. So you might be finding certain insects flying around you or um, they may mean certain things. So it might be worth uh, writing, <clears throat> typing that into Google and put spirituality behind that. And it might tell you what those insects are actually meaning. And uh, I feel like there's something that is bothering you perhaps when it's using the words bugs as a way of bothering you that you haven't been able to put roots down in the area or this is where you want to be residing. Um, maybe something's keeping that from happening. And we have children. So you may be wanting a child. You may have children, maybe have grandchildren. With number eight here, I feel like there's something that's changed regarding children. Maybe they've uh, grown up or um, maybe the grandkids are getting older. I feel like with this number eight here, this may be about things that you're seeing changing or moves people are making that have changed things or fine tuning things and changing things. Well, you might be inspiring these children as well. Maybe you're forming a good friendship with people. And you're getting people to step into their power here. And we have forgiveness. So there may be somebody here that maybe there's forgiveness here regarding a friend or somebody from your past that maybe you're not willing to get back with, but you're willing to forgive and be a friend with. Let's just see here. Oh, you might end up traveling. Maybe you're going to travel with a friend here. Maybe it is this person that's moved out. Uh, you're finding the willpower to do things. You're finding something here uh, that maybe you've been looking for here. Maybe finding a friend that you've been well, a good friend, you know, uh, somebody that's going to have your back. Oh, yeah, you've got some talent here. So maybe you're finding talent here regarding. Um, your willpower to step into this. Let's just have a look and get the tarot out and we'll look at what is this concern coming through regarding this person that's moving out here where there's this ending. What does this have to do with? Is this somebody you have children with? Is that why the child card came in? What is this? All right, you got courage and strength, okay. And this is actually with the strength card as well. This is kind of suggesting that you're overcoming certain things here. You're calm, cool, and collective. And even you're stepping into some type of power, powerful, calm, integrity, inner peace. It's kind of what I'm getting. <clears throat> there may be a child that this person has um, with this person they moved out with or they have it have this with you let's see all right they may be thinking about you as a sweetheart here maybe you have children with this this person maybe this is just a friend that has a child maybe by the same person let's see here what is this enlightenment okay you might be learning how to balance some rocky waves here that you might be learning how to adapt to something here being able to prioritize or have some multitasking here oh, there might be a king of wands that has broken your heart here you might be having a hard time navigating this but i feel like you are enlightened to what this is for you okay what's the challenge here all right, using your intuition, really listening to your intuition about this. Okay, 
Okay, so somebody might be coming in here to fight for this. There is a King of Cups here coming in and a King of Wands. So there may be a couple people here that maybe want to get back with you, maybe are going to fight over you or fight with you. <laughs> Take it however it resonates, Aries. Let's see, what's the alchemy? All right, you're going to talk with this person. You might be able to change the dynamic with how you speak with these people. Um, you may say your truth here or what you're willing to accept. Uh, so somebody may have been having a lover. Um, maybe there was other people here that left you out in the cold. So you may be um, impartial to that person. <laughs> Let's just see how this goes. Let's look at the children. Maybe you said you wanted to have this child with this person. Maybe you were willing to have children with this person. Wow, we have a King of Swords coming in as well. Wow, you are popular. You are a commodity here of people that really want to come back around for you. These might be people from your past. These might be new people coming through. Um, <laughs> wow. And this could be a friend group coming in. Take it however it resonates for you, of course. Um, <laughs> let's just see. Wow. Okay. So you do have friendship. So you may um, talk with some of these people and say, look, I forgive you. Let's just be friends. You may say this to every single one of them if they are somebody that did you wrong in the past. Now, you do have one person that may have done that. You have somebody that's coming in as well quite quickly and wants to fight for this. And they may see you as all-knowing or can't lie to you because you seem to see right through this person. This person here with the King of Cups is somebody that is emotionally balanced. Now, we have the King of Swords who is going to be very truthful, serious, and intellectual. Now, if you are looking to have somebody that you can talk with, and be able to have a good communication with, and that's really important to you, then this may be your person instead. So you are going to have a choice here by the looks of things. <laughs> All right, you may be just looking at whatever talents you have and you're working, just minding your own business here. <laughs> I feel like there may be a little bit of fear here or worry about people coming in for you. You are somebody that's very attractive and sought after. You may even be that fiery, confident, and this may be why people are coming around. You're very determined. You're optimistic. You have that half full cup <laughs> and you're confident about yourself. I feel like you've done the work. You've done the inner work. And this really does show that you are a healed individual, that you are confident about who you are and what you want in life, and you have boundaries. All right, so you may be waiting for things to come your way here, uh, maybe part of this abundance, uh, or your ships to come in regarding what work you're doing. Maybe you're making some money. Let's see what your intuition is saying about these three individuals here. All right, what about this King of Wands here? Okay, so <laughs> there's a lot of fear going on here. You may feel like you don't want anything. You just, this is just a state that you're in, a constant worry here, um, negative thoughts about this person or fear. I feel like you may have been victimized by this person, perhaps. Um, you may not want to have anything to do with this person. What about the King of Cups? Oh, there's a working relationship here. You can see right through this person. Maybe you are one that really is fulfilled with that lovey, touchy, um, emotional connection with somebody here. Where that love language is they, they want to hold hands. They want to be close to you. They want to kiss you. They want to touch you. Um, let's just see about this king of swords. This person's going to be a team player, by the way. They're going to help build things with you 
And let's just see here. Whoa, this person thinks you are their empress. You cannot, they have you on a pedestal here. This person is going to treat you like an empress here. Wow, you got a couple of good characters here coming through here. All right, so you may be single, they may be single, or they want you to be single, or they've just come become single here. <laughs> All right, wow, look at this. You have a choice between two really good people here. Uh, I don't feel like you're going to go with this person here, even though they may have been a counterpart to you. They may have really messed this up to no return, okay? This may be where they left you out in the cold. They had someone else and they were trying to get with you or they were just cheating on you, period. So I feel like this is, you have that self-respect for yourself and you know that there's somebody good coming in for you. And if you are with somebody already, this could just be friendship, okay? So take it how it resonates for you, okay? Now, I feel like there is a lot of forgiveness. You've stepped into this power. You inspire people. You're finding your willpower to do the things that you want to do in life. And you are traveling. You may be with a friendship here. Maybe you start out as friends here with these two people here. And you'll find who maybe you're meant to be with here. All right. Wow, Aries, I like this for you because somebody really does feel you're a sweetheart here. but. If it is this person here, yeah, they may have screwed the pooch here where there's no return from this. So, but you do have some really good potentials here that are going to be equally, if not more, um, willing to be with you and treat you right. So it's going to matter who you are attracted to, who you have the best conversations with, or however your love language is. Maybe you really like that conversation. You want somebody to be able to keep up with your intellect or your intelligence, somebody that is intelligent, and maybe you are intelligent as well. And you like those conversations, being able to have those conversations. And that may be more what you're looking for than the lovey touchy kind of energy. So it depends what your love language is, of course. Maybe you like people that do things for you, like this person here, maybe more acts of service where they do things for you as a way of love. All right. So, I mean, maybe you have more than one love language here. Um, maybe you like both of these love languages. It would be nice to be able to put the two of them into one. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe you have um, certain love languages that you have, and it's important to realize what those are with somebody because um, knowing what they want for love is being able to fulfill that for them in a way that they're going to feel fulfilled. And you're also being fulfilled in how you want to be loved. So it's important to have those conversations. Anyhow, this is what I have for you, Aries. So take care, stay blessed. And thank you so much for all the donations, the super thanks, and the share, likes, and subscribes. And of course, you know I'm getting to try to get to that 10,000 subscriptions. So if you haven't subscribed, maybe you can subscribe, become part of the tribe. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.